Hello trainers, Russ Marrow here and today we are going to be opening a booster box of the brand new booster pack in the Japanese Pokemon TCG, Dragon Storm. Alright, let's begin with the first pack. Now check out that awesome booster pack art over there featuring White QRM, Dragonite and Drampa. So before we get into this, I'd just like to apologize for uh, missing out on the Ultra Sun and Moon, the Ultra Sun and Moon booster packs featuring the new Necrozma forms because I wasn't, I actually wasn't able to get my hands on those packs. All right, so in our first pack, we've got Magikarp, Dratini, Wishy Washy, and right off the bat, in our first pack, we are pulling a Hollow Foil version of the Dragon type. Como O, and I just have to say that this this dragon just looks so awesome in this version of in this version of the artwork on this card. Just take a look at him over there. I'm gonna give you guys a closer look, and after that, we're ending off with an uncommon in the form of Flygon. So that'll be all for the first pack. And here in our second pack, we've got Darumaka, Dragon Fossil, Dragon Claw Fossil. Here, Horsey. And oh, Zinnia as a trainer card. And ending off with the uncommon, a Charmeleon. Yeah, so following on what I mentioned earlier, I've actually changed the source that I'm using for getting these uh, Pokemon booster boxes. So you guys can rest assured that I'll be able to get all the new releases on the day of release from now on. So do make sure to subscribe if you want to, if you guys want to see me open them. And moving on into pack 3, we're starting off with Trapinch, Salazzle, Vibrava in his original like Ken Sugimori artwork, and oh! Oh! Let's just take a look at the uncommon first. Our uncommon is Aqua Patch. But yes, uh, I'm just gonna bring up one of the packs to show you guys. As you guys can see, White QRAM is one of the stars of this booster of one of, of this booster box, as you guys can see from the art on the packs. And yes, this is definitely the card, the main card that I was really trying to get from this booster set. And we finally managed to get it in this booster box of GX Hunting. And it is White QRAM GX. So his attacks are firstly for one flame energy he can use Hikisaku which is like a flame burst I believe and then for one fire, water and colorless energy he can use Ikari no Yaiba which is blade of rage and finally his GX move is Dragon Nova GX. So as for the effects of these attacks, first for Flame Burst, uh, it basically ignores all effects on the opposing Pokemon and for a uh, Blade of Rage, um, if there's any damage counters on your White Kyurem GX, it inflicts an additional 80 damage, making it usually a 160 damage attack. And finally, for Dragon Nova GX, not only does it deal 200 damage, it also inflicts burn and paralysis on the opposing Pokémon. So, definitely going to treasure this addition to my collection. It just looks so badass in that artwork over there. Just going to put it aside in the corner first. As we move on into the... I believe it's the... 4th pack? Yeah, I hope I'm not wrong. Yes, this should be the 4th pack. But yeah, I think as you guys can tell already, since this booster pack is named Dragon Storm, it's supposed to like style the dragons of the Pokemon series. Well, not all, but some of them. Here we have Seedra, Swablu, Wooper. I wonder what he's doing. No way! What? Holy shit! Okay, let our oh, uncommon is Zygarde, but. Oh my god, did they just have to like give this to me immediately after I pulled the original White Cream Jacks? Okay, guys, what we are looking at now is we basically just got a hyper rare, hyper rare White Cream GX. If I'm not wrong, this is supposed to be like the greatest rarity you can get a Pokemon GX card in in the Pokemon Japanese trading card game right now. So this is just completely mind-blowing. Of course, it's just an alternate artwork of the White Cream GX. So all of the abilities are the same as the one it's just now, but just look at this thing it looks so good with the rainbow foil and i mean like you guys can see like this pattern in the foiling behind it kind of looks like rising flames and increase in temperature it's my god my god how okay well i guess that that is basically our the special pull that we're getting for this this boss already and like my heart is pounding right now and let's just move on into uh, the fifth pack. So Hakomo, Hakamo, Magikarp, Dragonair, and no oh, Hollow Foil Rare QRAM, pretty nice. And yep, a uh, rescue float. Yeah. So yeah, let me just try to catch my breath and try to remember what I was telling you guys about. But yeah, Dragon Storm, this pack is supposed to feature a bunch of different dragons from throughout the uh, Pokemon series with a special emphasis on white QRAM and Reshiram in this one, because Reshiram GX is also available. Yeah, so Salazzle. 
Phoebus. I wonder if Milotic. That means Milotic should be in here, I guess. Uh, Trapinch. Drampa. And... Oh, this is uh, Valen Volcano Park. I think that's the name. A uh, Wella Volcano Park. Yeah, I got the name wrong for a moment there. It's been so long since I last played Sun and Moon, so I apologize if I get any of the names wrong. Especially because this is the Japanese card game, so the names will be in Japanese. So sometimes they don't like translate nicely, so I won't be able to like uh, cleanly translate it back for you guys. So... Kensugi Mori, Vibrava, uh, Heatmore, Swablu, Dradagon, and Rescue Float again. But yeah, uh, while this pack is supposed to focus on dragons, it mainly focuses on dragon type, fire type, and water types in this set. I'm not very sure how it's going to translate into the English TCG, but I, I assume it's going to be combined with like uh, the main, uh, main release booster and Wishy Washy, Dratini, Corsola. A Gyarados Holofoil looking pretty scary right there with his mouth open wide like that. And Zig Zygarde. Alright. I've completely lost track of how many packs we've been through, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I am a big fan of Pokemon and the trading card game. I don't really play it much. I'm more of a collector on the side. So when I open boxes like this, it's more of to like show you guys the content as well as help out in my GX collecting. Yeah, so Horsey, uh, that was Darumaka, Jang mo -o. Wella Volcano Park again and Flygon. Yeah. So mainly when I open these packs, what I'll be paying attention to is the GXs. And I definitely want to show you guys like the other cards present in the card as well. But I'm gonna try and like go through it fast so you guys don't get too bored with the ordinary cards as well. Alright, so here you've got Booper, Salandit, uh Hakamo O, and here we've got a hollow foil uh, Eltaria. And Zinnia again. I believe Zinnia can be obtained as a full art trainer card in this pack as well. So that'll be pretty interesting to pull because the full art trainer cards just look so nice. Especially like all the, the famous characters from throughout the games and the items as well. So here you have Seedra, Trapinch, Salazzle, Milotic, there we go. And Brooklet Hill, right. Brooklet Hill where you fight Totem Wishy Washy. So, I believe we are only left with 4 packs, so this is pack number 12 of the first 15. There are a total of 30 packs. This is a full-size booster in the Japanese TCG. So I'll immediately restock the packs once we finish. And here, Lapras, Dragonair, Heatmore. Oh, and here we've got our... I mean, I, I guess it counts as the third GX, but the second different GX. Uh, first off, our uncommon is Dradigon. And we are pulling... Uh, Dragonite GX, which is actually another dragon that stars on the cover of the booster pack art, so that's really nice as well. And he just looks so cute in this artwork, just so flying free in the air. So let's go through his moves. First of all, for one electric energy, he can use Dragon Claw, no effect there. His second move for four energy is Giga Impact. And basically, yeah, this Pokemon can't use moves the next turn just like the actual Giga Impact in the game. And his GX move will be Dragon Porter GX. I'm not sure what the Porter is supposed to mean, but basically its effect is you can choose three Dragon type Pokemon from your discard pile and add them to your bench. So, I mean, at first glance, uh, to me, I guess that's a good way to like get back your important GXs if like they are very important to your game, but then they got defeated early on. So I guess it could be useful, but it doesn't sound like that great or that strong of an effect. Although I guess it will depend on the meta as well and how powerful the Dragon cards are in the current meta, which I'm not very familiar with because I don't play the game. And next we've got Horsey, Swablu, and the Dragon Claw Fossil again, and a uh, Flintstone. And here we have Quagsire in another Ken Sugimori artwork. And now we are left with two packs in the first half. Right. So we managed to pull three GXs so far. If I'm not wrong, we're only supposed to get like uh, four or five in total. And next we've got Dratini, uh, Phoebus, oops. Charmander looking really cute under that leaf there, protecting his flame. And a hollow file Blaine Sudden Challenge. I think it's supposed to be a reprint of an old, like, the trainer card that we got from, like, one of the earlier sets in the entire TCG. And up next, our uncommon will be Kiawe. Alright, and now the final pack of the first half of this opening. Let's see what we get. Alright. Here we've got Corsola, Darmanitan, uh, Jang Mo'o. And whoa, I forgot this guy's name for a moment there, but it's Turtonator. And finally, a stadium card called the Consumed Planes. Alright, so moving into the second half of this opening immediately. Uh, if you guys have been following my channel for a while now, I think you might be used to like me splitting these into two halves. But for now, I think I'm just gonna do them in one video. And here we've got Hakamo'o, 
Lapras, uh, Dar Darumaka, Brooklet Hill, and Turdenator again. Pack number 17. Alright. Come on, let's see what our last dragon is gonna be in here. We've got Horsey, Charmander, uh, Dragon Claw Fossil, uh, Hollow Fort Altaria, and Flintstone again. So, so far we've pulled two of the possible GXs in this set, which are White Curium GX and the Dragonite GX. If I'm not wrong, the ones remaining, I think there's definitely Reshiram GX, and I'm pretty damn sure that uh, Kingdra GX is in this set as well. So, if I had to pick uh, Corsola, let me just move on with this first, uh, Salazzle, Zhang Mo O, Melotic, and the Consumed Flames. Yeah, if I had to choose what I want to get last, Reshiram would be cool, but I think I really like Kingdra because, I mean, ever since second generation, I think Kingdra has been a really cool Pokemon, yeah. And I think if, from what I remember, I think the artwork of his GX in this set is really, really badass as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. Seedra, Dratini, Wishy Washy, Qram, Holofoil, and Drampa. Although, even though Drampa's featured like on the uh, on the artwork of these booster packs, unfortunately, I don't think they reprinted his GX in this uh, set. But I mean, I guess that's okay with me because I think I've already got a Drampa GX from the old set. And here we got Salandit, Wooper, Vibrava, Awela Volcano Park, Dradigon, that's all. Next pack. Alright. Oops. Here we've got Magikarp, uh, Swablu, a uh, Horsey. Oh, we did it! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's see who our last, uh, what our last GX is, and it's Aqua Patch. And yes, our fourth GX and the third uh, type of GX that we managed to pull from this set is actually going to be this epic-looking Kingdra GX, just in the middle of a whirlpool, chilling like a complete badass over there. Let's take a look at his moves. So his first move is Hydro Pump, of course, for only one colorless energy. For each water energy attached to Kingdra GX, it adds an additional 50 damage to a Hydro Pump, which means it can become a really lethal attack. And secondly, uh, its second attack is Gukun Funsha, which uh, I, can't, I don't really know how to translate that, but I assume it's something similar to like Whirlpool or Whirlpool Geyser. And basically, uh, th when you use this move, it allows you to switch, a, switch Kingdra GX with a Pokemon on your bench. And finally, his finishing move, something so badass, is Maelstrom GX, which basically allows you to inflict 40 damage to all of your opponent's Pokemon, including the ones on their bench. Uh, regardless of their resistance effects and all that cool stuff, so uh, I don't think uh, I guess it could be very powerful, very uh, situational wise, especially if like you your opponent has been retreating a lot and they have a lot of damage Pokemon and you can finish them off all at once with Kingdra GX. So that'll be pretty nice. But so far, I think uh, like <laughs> in terms of coolness, I like White Kyrian's GX move the most. And next we have Heatmore, Dragonair, Lapras. Flygon and Rescue Float. Yeah. So I think I've basically like uh, seen all of the possible non foil cards you can get in this set already. So I'm not going to read out the names anymore. Instead, uh, I'm just going to show them to you guys and maybe we can talk about some other stuff uh, while I go through them. Like, how about the upcoming Pokemon game for Switch? Like, I think there's been a lot of news going around recently. Like, uh, like a lot of there's been rumors about it going to be a remake on the Switch, then maybe even being a Kanto reboot. Yeah, and I've also heard rumors that apparently there's going to be a new trailer for the new movie uh, coming out on Monday, I think 9th, 9th of April, and it's actually going to feature a new unreleased Pokemon. Of course, since it's they are talking about unreleased Pokemon, technically it could just be Zero Aura because technically the Pokemon company and Nintendo haven't like officially announced Zero Aura yet, but it could also be a completely brand new Pokemon from the upcoming 8th generation that we've never even seen or heard about. So. Keeping my fingers crossed for that, because who knows, maybe it's just going to be that new flying type evolution or whatever type you think it is. Uh, I haven't really decided for myself what I think it's going to be, but I'm, I'm leaning towards flying type, but I think like all of the other arguments I've seen on like YouTube comments and forums seem pretty legit as well. Like could be like maybe dragon type even, or maybe even uh, poison type. So it's pretty interesting. I'm just looking forward to it as a whole, because any new Pokemon, whatever it is, is just going to be pretty exciting to me. Yeah. Alright, so I'm not sure, I think this is the, supposed to be the 26 pack. We're just gonna go through this pretty quickly. And oh, 
Let's, I think this is one card we didn't manage to pull so far and it's gonna be a holo foil rare of Charizard Looking really pretty damn badass over there with like the flame in his claws. That's a really nice artwork I have to say Yeah, so let's see one two three four four packs left. Yeah, but uh, on a more serious note, do you guys are uh, really... I think Nintendo really wants to complete the Pokemon Switch game and release it by the end of this year in order to like, utilize the hype and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, even though we've been getting Pokemon games pretty frequently uh, in the past few recent years, like especially the time gap between Ultra Sun and Moon and Sun and Moon and between Sun and Moon and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, but originally we usually had to wait like four year gaps in order to get our brand new Pokemon games and new generations. So like, I think it's a bit over optimistic for them to like come up with like the brand new Pokemon game for Switch within this year, especially considering it's a brand new game for a brand new console in that sense. So. I actually think that you're most likely earliest. Oh, and all right, let me talk about this first. And we are just getting another badass looking hollow foil. Yeah, that was melodic in the form of Zekrom. I guess to partner the Reshiram GX in this set, but it's looking really nice over there. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh... Right, so I think really earliest they'll, they'll be able to complete it by is maybe sometime next year, maybe early early next year if like they're really lucky with the production schedule and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm really not expecting it to be released uh, in within this year, but maybe announced near the end of the year. And maybe a trailer released near the end of the year around Christmas as well. But yeah, of course, keeping my fingers crossed, I definitely don't mind if they release the brand new game this year as well. And now it looks like we're done. It's down to our final pack of Dragon Storm. So let's open it and see if we can get one final epic GX card. There's still like the Reshiram GX, I believe. Or maybe even a full art Zinnia or some other trainer card. That would be pretty cool. So let's see. Final pack, final five cards. Darmanitan. Or Darmanitan. Yeah, Trapinch. Phoebus. Wait a minute. What is this? It's Lance! It, it's... I don't get it. Alright, so I just looked it up and apparently this is a Prism Star card and you can only have one copy of each Prism Star card of the same name in your deck. So you can't have more than one Prism Star Lance. Uh, to be honest with you guys, like, I have not... I'm not an expert on a Pokemon trading card game. I haven't been, like, keeping track of it all this time. I only recently came back in with, after the release of the EXs and the GXs as, like, a collector because I thought they were really cool. So I am not familiar with this at all, but this is just really really badass right now and his rarity right here at the bottom it says PR so I assume that's prism rare but I think he's a he's considered a pretty rare card more than rare so let's go through his effect it's really nice with like the symbol over there as well so basically his effect is first of all you can only use this card if your opponent knocked out one of your Pokemon in the previous turn and basically you can choose two dragon Pokemon from your deck and put them on your bench and then shuffle your oh, I think it should be shuffle your deck, but here in the Japanese, it, Japanese it just says cut your deck. But I assume it, it just means the same as shuffle your deck. So that is really nice. Like, and I think you guys can see also that the prison rarity sort of glosses out of the card artwork and goes on like this symbol and even the silver supporter text right over there as well. Just really, really freaking cool. It, it just looks so nice and. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna add this card to my collection. If you enjoyed this Dragon Storm opening, do give this video a like and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this brand new Japanese set and what you guys think about the upcoming Pokemon Switch game as well. Well, I, I was just looking through my foils and I think it's pretty cool like that, we, that like the foils that we pulled were like this and it's like imagining having to fight Lens in a game and then you have to deal with his Kingdra, deal with Kingdra, Dragonite and maybe even a QM GX. Like maybe we'll have a fight like that in a future game because that'll be pretty damn epic looking like this. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to watch me open the brand new Japanese Pokemon TCG booster set releases on the day of release. And with that, hope to see you guys in the next Pokemon video. Let's access the spin and swirl in data storm and now with the wind our hearts are made.